Hello everyone, my name is Bradley, I have a Brad Taste in Music, and today I'm going to be reacting to OK Orchestra by AJR. Now I know what you're thinking, Bradley, what the hell is this? Why, why are you doing this? I, uh, there's so many better albums that I could be reacting to, why, why am I specifically choosing AJR? Now you are probably only thinking this if you are like familiar with my channel, and if you just ran across this video you're like, Oh my god, this guy's reacting to AJR, oh I'm so excited, I love AJR, I have all the AJR trading cards, all the AJR flannels, oh my dog's whining, she's lonely. Uh, my dog's here with me today, of course. Her name is Suki. Oh, there she is. Hi! There. Oh, she's laying on the floor. Anyways, yeah, so AJR is uh, not a very good band. Not a very good collective. Uh, I have a video reviewing their last album, which I really didn't like. I didn't even finish it. But uh, today we're going to listen to OK Orchestra, and honestly... The reception in this album is way better, way, 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 way better than any other albums that they've released. So what I'm hoping is that I'm going to get a couple of good tunes off of here, and hopefully I'm going to be able to explain to you guys why some of the songs I don't like are the way that they are. You know, so I want to do this fair, much like my last video, which, by the way, that last video is the only reason I'm in the relationship I'm in right now, because, uh... You know, Tina ran across the AJR video looking for valid criticism, which of course I gave. And uh, yeah, she instantly fell in love with me. So hopefully you guys will do the same after I'm done reacting to uh, OK Orchestra, okay? Anyways, I, I am honest to God so unexcited for this album because it's just like AJR, like, look, Tina was describing that she says that like, oh, they just make fun music. You know, they just make fun music. But they, but to be honest with you guys, the music really is not that fun. In fact, a lot of it is, like, fun. You know, where it looks fun, but then they got, like, this negative take inside of it that just ruins it and makes it really unlikable. Like, with the, with the last album, the birthday song, where it went from, like, ba 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 I'm a child. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, I'm born in a world where I can't pick my political leaders. Boop. I'm just like, wow, that's fun. Okay, I guess the definition of fun has changed. Um, but yeah, so I, I don't, I'm not a fan of these guys at all, at the slightest. But hopefully that'll make my opinion interesting. So without further ado, okay, overture. Let's uh, let's pull the band-aid off and listen to AJ R. And I say AJ R because this video is going to be censored because this music is listened to by children. Hello to all you underage viewers. All right, I'm just letting you guys know right now that you are not the majority of my audience, so don't even bother subscribing, okay? Because I'm not going to make content tailored to you. Now, with that being said, okay, Overture, let's go. These are our drums. This is our melody. Da, da, da. As our drums become our melody. Okay, so obviously what's going on here, and I only know this because I have a partner who has gone and seen them live, is uh, they're trying to impress the audience of small impressionable children here by showing that they have musical talent, which is, uh, I, I, look, I don't even need to like, okay, you know what, I'm already judging, but it's like, now we take the drums and we turn the trumpet into a drum set. They're explaining the process of how they ruin songs. Alright, so AJR has already started with the approach of you can throw any garbage you want as long as it goes in and out and has a drum. So uh, yeah, they're, they're going with that approach. It sounds horrible, but again, this is the intro track. I'm not too, uh, I'm not too concerned here. They always do these really over the top intros to their albums, and then their albums are not that profound, you know? Bitch, I pull up with a stick and I shoot your whole click. I don't give a fuck, cause hope she's sitting on my dick. And she look in the tip. And she Uh yeah, so they're doing the thing where it's all the songs put together. Whatever. It's inoffensive so far. Not bad, not bad. This part's okay. I still got no clue what the fuck is happening. Okay, can we okay, so something I haven't done yet and I'm pausing to do it is to acknowledge the fact that the song that the album's called OK Orchestra, which look 
I mean, it's an insult in itself because, like, okay, computer, it's, it's like, like, how is this not an okay computer reference? Which, by the way, is, like, the highest rated album of all time when AJR has some of the lowest rated albums of all time. You know what I mean? It's like, there's a level of irony here that's, like, really scratching this, this itch of, like, it's funny to me, but for the wrong reasons, you know? No one names a fucking album okay orchestra without knowing OK Computer exists. You know what I mean? Like, no one does that. Like, there is no way in hell that is unintentional. So it's, it's like, I have to put aside the fact that they named their entire album after, like, a horrible joke. You know? Anyways, God, I'm, I'm sorry. I keep pausing to complain, but what can I say? I've, I've been waiting for this day. I've been waiting for OK Orchestra to drop for a while so I can, you know, I'm, I'm venting. I'm getting it all out. Someday, maybe someday, but I'm not. Alright, and the song's over. That was OK Overture, which, I'll be honest with you guys, is probably the best intro that I've heard from any AGR album. Uh, and that's specifically off the fact that it's the least annoying intro I've heard from any AJR album. So, they're taking steps in the right direction, and that's certainly worth noting. I'm going to give that song a shrug, because personally, I don't really enjoy these, like, mashup songs at the beginning of the albums. I think that they just take away from the concept. I think that they, like... They take the entire album and put it in this nutshell that, in my opinion, actually just spoils it. Like, there's nothing about this this overture that, like, really does anything for the album for me, that does anything for the songs. It just kind of is there. I don't know. I, I honestly think that you can remove this song and nothing will change. But, you know. That's that's about as far as my complaints go. I think that some of the things that were done there were pretty cool. I like the uh, fact that when he said trumpet and drum set in the second time, it was like this nice little blend of the two, you know? it's It reminds me of something I do with my videos, you know, where I say trumpet or drum set and then like a sound effect plays. That's kind of what they were doing with the song. And, and if I was to talk shit about that, it would be like talking shit about my own content. So, yeah, some of the things in there were okay. So, yeah. Not a horrible start, but really not necessary. Next song, we got Bummerland, one of the singles. I didn't listen to this one. I just remember hearing the beginning of it and not liking it. So you already know that this is going to be a fair, bias, unbiased review. So Bummerland. Doesn't this sound exactly like way less sad? Talk about deep and profound. AJR is referencing several months of COVID-19 pandemic that restricted you from leaving your homes for non-essential activities such as haircuts. As of about a month ago, they lifted the restriction on haircuts, so now the song is Jack using his haircut as an excuse to socialize at the barbershop. My man Jack really, really coming through with some like really profound statements here, especially considering that this was seven months ago. Yeah, so... Wait, this was actually seven months ago. There is no way in hell. Wait, this this is just sad and pathetic. I'm, I'm reading the rest of the lyrics now. I'm just like, okay, I guess that is a bummer land. All right. It's sad, but I've been alone for too long. Bummerland was performed live as part of the We The People fundraiser content on January 17th, 2021 for the inauguration of Joe Biden as the President of the United States. Really? There's a live performance. Our next performers are AJR. Wait, okay, hear me out. You guys are gonna call me racist, but literally I only see a low resolution image and this guy literally looks like uh, Keegan-Michael Key. Of Brothers Adam. Oh, it is Michael Key. I'm not racist. It actually is Keegan Michael Key with a beard, which also, why? You know what? I'm not gonna ask questions. AJR will be playing their 2020 hit, and let's just say I'm not bummed about it. Here's AJR with. You guys hear that? Keegan Michael Key coming through with the top Keen Peel comedy right there. He's not bummed with Bummerland, but I am because. Uh, Actually, you know what? I'm not so far. It's not that horrible, okay? I'll admit, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So, let's see the live performance real quick, all right? Bummerland. See? 
See what I did there? No. Hello, we are AJR. Thank you so much for having us at this historic inauguration. This is our song, Bummerland. Nice. The mixing live is as bad as they're mixing in the studio. I'm, I'm glad to know that. Okay, let's keep listening to the studio version. Alright, this mix, this song mix is kind of dog shit, which, you know, I'm, whatever. But, I mean, it's worth noting that it, it does not sound that good. It The song itself just doesn't sound good. Like the, Bummerland, here I am! Like, it's not just enjoyable to listen to. I, I feel like a good example of this is literally the only song off this album that I've, like, heard and liked, and that's uh, way less sad. Where I think that they, once we get to that song, it'll be more apparent, you know, what I mean by this. But just, this isn't a fun melody, and it, and it feels like an experimental melody, you know? So the way I feel about this song is it feels like an aesthetic nightmare, but it's not like, I, I just don't have the energy to like complain about it. Cause while it's not the most enjoyable, it's clear just how ambitious it is. And it's like crushing a kid's sandcastle. You know what I mean? It's, it's why, why do it? Why do it? And, and that's what it, that's what it means to like shit all over this song. It's like, wow, look how much effort they put into this. The drums are sequenced in exact areas. Like, it sounds to me like they probably spent the entire time in quarantine working on every little detail of this album, which of course makes it sound like really like, oh God, I don't even, I don't even know. I, I honestly don't even know. I'm supposed to be the expert here and I just don't even know what the hell to make of this. Bank account gets so low, just can't Way less sad. Like car carbon copy and paste. Oh, Look, it doesn't help that I was like doing like my I had to call my mom about like tax stuff halfway through the song for like nine minutes. And I will admit that probably has something to do with me saying here that uh that song was a whole lot of fucking noise for a whole lot of little. You know what I mean? And it's sure it's like, you know, it's a little bit more than usual. You know, it's not like my mom took my Legos. You know, it's more like Bummerland. You know, but still, it's like, I don't know. I, I just, it, am I allowed to just say that it's like a little bit like, it was just, you know, it's it's there, it exists, but I'm not like really like blown away by it. Because I just want to kind of give it a shrug and say, you know, it did some th cool things, but overall just wasn't that enjoyable of a song to listen to that I probably wouldn't come back to. Like, that's that's how I feel about it. I feel like it kind of blended into this generic sound palette -y, like copy paste kind of shit not not as much as like i feel like neo theater really dipped into but but enough here to, for me to be like ah it's still ajr they're still you know stumbling over themselves whatever it's it's not as bad as usual it's it's decent i'd give it like a five if i had to you know whatever next three o'clock things the next song three o'clock things let's go Come on, guy. I promise everything will be alright. Come on, guy. I promise everything will be alright. Be okay. Oh, it's like electro swing. Funny how I paid for college when YouTube was an option, but then I preach, preach, preach. This is the only time I'm gonna say, "Wow, that's the most relatable line ever." As a YouTuber who literally dropped out of college to do YouTube full time. When the hell did advertisements? Okay, so this line is very telling about, uh, it's telling about who, how he is as a person, the fact that he thinks that advertisements have gotten really good, you know, like this one, you know what I'm saying? Or like this one. So yeah, it's very telling that he, he likes advertisements, you know, it really says what kind of group this guy lands into, you know? Let's pause. That was basically like just a rant. I don't even like nothing rhymed. It was like, and now I'm gonna sing about something that doesn't really count as something I should really put in a song, but I decided to sing about it because I just don't have the creativity. I don't know. 
it just comes off as very like whatever ish you know and maybe sex is overrated but we're too shy to ever say it Okay, let's break down what I just heard. It's kind of funny how I keep debating if someone's shy or if they hate me. So he's a simp. You feel like everyone you know right now is hooking up and getting wasted without you. D wait. D is this a new song that just came off this album? If this thing was made during quarantine, this is actually a very concerning line. And maybe sex is overrated, but we're too shy to say it. Social society markets sex as this glorious experience, even though more often than not, it's the opposite. However, due, due to the pressures of fitting in, no one really calls it out for being overrated, therefore feeding into the cycle. What the fuck am I actually reading? What the fuck is this? Help improve this annotation. It's a stretch. You've got to be fucking kidding me. What? There's no way anyone believes this. Like, who the fuck is, like, advocating that sex is an overrated activity? Like, it's not even saying that, like, oh, you know, there's sexual abuse out there. It's just sex is overrated. I'm, like, what? Like, literally, the human body, the most dopamine it produces is during sex. That is, like, that's actually, like, science, homie. Like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. I'll never ask you. No, that's super scary. Pussy! I'm sorry to bend. It's already three o'clock. All right, remember when I said I wasn't going to do the melodramatic argument thing? I'm doing the melodramatic argument thing. This this song is so stupid. I, I, I literally am, like, losing my mind at, like, the, the, the rate. Like, it just, like, Bummerland at least was, like, on the tracks of something. This is just, like, boom. It's like it throw it's like they just kick the train off the track. It's, just, it's gone. Like what the fuck is this? Would you go running if you saw the real me? Maybe you'd love him, maybe you'd feel me. See, the fact that he's lying to this person and that he thinks that sex is overrated uh, is kind of telling of a deeper problem. Maybe the fact that he can't actually commit himself to a relationship and that's why he's not enjoying it because he's fake as shit. Wow, who would have assumed? Uh, these are problems that instead of maybe singing shittily about them in your living room with no rhymes or reason, uh, maybe you could actually go to counseling. How about that? Now funny how you vote for someone to vote for someone to vote for someone. Wow, you see what I mean? This is what I'm talking about. The songs are so like off the fucking, oh, I get it. It's called three o'clock things. Maybe because he's like, oh, it's three o'clock. What am I thinking? Is it revealed via pre, there won't be a single or oh, whatever. I don't know. I'm, I'm just... I'm like, I'm, I'm deeply offended by how stupid and over, all over the... I'm sorry, I'm reading the lyrics before I even... Alright, I'm losing mine. My friends will dip, they're over it. Well, at least he's... A, it's like, okay, let me explain this. He's aware that he needs to stop talking... No, sorry, he's aware that people hate when he talks about politics, but he still talks about politics, right? So this is a spot where I'm just going to jump in and say, well, because he's open about it and he's open to judgment, let's jump in and say, dude, it is annoying as shit when you throw random politics into your bubbly fucking playful songs. Nobody, and I mean nobody, who's named Brad Bradley with a Brad Taste in Music would ever enjoy that, okay? You know, there's like sad boy hours. This is like pussy boy hours. This is like sad pussy hours, you know? This is like really, really sad, like kid living in his mama's basement hours, you know? Kid who lives in his, this is like real Skippy hours, which by the way, Skippy, the the motherfucking homie, it, I, I made a song about this guy, okay? It's called Simp Zone. Let me play you a little bit of it, all right? I'm really proud of this song. Now, I know what you're thinking, Bradley. You're stopping this AJR song to play. You're damn right I'm playing my own song, okay? It's called Simp Zone. Let's go. She says, I'm paying for my half the dinner or we're just friends. And you're still holding out hope that you might take her back home. Woo! Like I said, you know what I mean? First floor, friend zone, the basement, simp zone, okay? Hey, simp zone, bitch, I can't be left alone. I be in my simp zone, tell your bitch to leave my home. Bitch, you better watch your toe when I'm in my fucking zone. Bitch, you better watch your toe when I'm in my fucking zone. 
Hey, what's up you guys it's Bradley here so my camera died so I started working on editing right and then my uh, the entire drive that I had bricked and now it won't e it's not even detected by the computer every I lost everything on it um, yeah and it's all thanks to AJR but I think it's like uh, it's a testament to the music anyways I was listening to three o'clock things uh, yeah all right let's keep going uh. I mean, I bet a lot of people are expecting me to, to basically say, oh no, you know, it's so edgy. If you're racist, don't come to my fucking show. But I actually thought that was well done. And, and I liked the build up to it. And I thought the political part was um, not really, I, I think it was actually a good way to lead into that. And I will say that uh, not a bad outro to a song that I thought was dog shit. Actually, red dog. headphones, dog shit. Um, actually, you know what? I'm changing it to a shrug. I'll be honest with you guys. There might actually be more to that song that, that I liked than I hated. And, and I hated a lot about... No, you know what? Red headphones. Yeah. Dog. Now that I think about it, I honest to God hated so much of that song. But I, I also think that... Um, I also think that it had, uh, look, the, the parts that worked were not as, like, horrible as some of the other times the AJR has attempted to do similar things. Especially with this, like, electro song. And, you know, if you ignore all the lyrics, the song is okay. But, uh, yeah, so, unfortunately, I can't do that, so it's not okay. But, you know what? I don't even know. I don't even know. Let's just keep moving with uh, the next song, My Play. I think I've heard this. I think I even reacted to it. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's right. It has this horrible sample. This sample sounds horrible, by the way. In my cape, jumping on the old couch. Father trying to drink a little mo. Come on, mother, motherfucking hope. Bitch, I'm rich as a bitch, and I'm fucking on your bitch. Yeah, I said this explicit, but I don't give a shit. I said I was gonna censor, but you know that's a lie. Cause I'm like 25, I don't give a fuck. You know what really makes a song sad for me is uh, it's got, it's gotta be the uh, the 808s. You know, the the world's loudest 808 drums. I don't know why AGR decided it was like with the Bang remix. That's when it started. When 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 they released that Bang remix, all of a sudden everything that they did had to have like the loudest 808s on the entire planet. And this song it has to be the biggest insult with that because it it it, it could not clash any uglier than on this track. Honestly, it is probably like the worst track to introduce this kind of stuff. I don't want my own love wasted place cause it's not the same. Alright, so a song is about being a child and you know, your, your parents are divorcing and you just want to show them this play. But the problem is the play has this horrible sample. And your parents heard the sample and they're like, uh, you know, we'll listen later. And then they continue fighting, you know what I mean? So, uh... I will say though, this is this is not bad. This is not, this is not that bad. It's like if you look past the fact that it musically is horrible, like this conceptually sharper than uh, sharper than anything else so far. This is like I'm sorry, but it's 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 laughable. It's so laughable. The the, the amount of just like. The fact that this song is like a bed of roses and it's like drenched in these hip hop influences actually is just like, I, I'm not even like offended or cringing. I'm just like, what the hell? Also, why is this the only song with an explicit sticker when obviously he's cursed multiple times on this album so far? Also, for the love of God, like pick, it's it's like, pick your demographic, honestly. Like, I, I you know what? They got 10 million monthly listeners. I can't use that argument anymore. Uh, what they're doing apparently works. I don't, I'm just not. I'm gonna show you my dick. And what's wrong with that? When I show you my play, but maybe you'll forget it all while you're watching my play. Okay, you know what? Hey, hey, you know, okay. Hear me out. Hear me out. All right. This, this, don't get excited. I see the AGR fans getting excited over this, but don't. Smiley ball. Okay. Smiley ball. 
No, you know what? I can't. I, I just can't. I can't even give it points because then I think about the shit that I didn't like. You know, I gotta give it a shrug. It's just like... It's inoffensive. I, I... It's actually so offensive. It's as if it's like a song about being inoffensive. You know what I mean? Except for with a lot of cursing in it. Of course, you know, the explicit sticker necessary because uh, why does he fucking bother? Cause I hate my fucking father. I really, 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 really want to show you my pain. And I really don't care if my father comes out as gay. Cause that would explain my I play. I honestly don't know anymore. Uh, to say that I don't care that much about the music is a, is an understatement. I mean, the only tag for this song is pop, which is kind of funny. Cause, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm just like, I'm just like spitting out garbage because I just don't know what to say. Next song, Joe. Joe Schmo. Talk about inoffensive. Next song, Joe. Okay. I believed in God back in eighth grade. He could smoke an eighth on a school day. Fuck, I've, I've heard that ex- Also, can we mention the fact that it's fucking 808s again? I believed in God back in 09 Always Fucking bitches at the same time I don't ever think of you Look at all this stuff I do Oh, wait, the song tackles the childhood bully in someone's life or more personally Oh, the person Jack sings about whose name of the title song Joe, asking Joe now if he thinks he's cool. Wow. Okay, so recently I heard a song by The Killers called Andy, You're a Star, where I think it was about, like, this school bully, right? And, and it was, like, a similar thing. Do not make songs about your school bully. If that is the most petty ridiculous shit god you cannot be any more one lame too pathetic for for including someone who can it first of all this is an accusation like this is this is like you know what i mean they they're hey do you think i'm cool oh god i'm sorry i don't even i don't know how to explain this like i just don't like it's just don't make songs like calling out old high school bullies it's fucking corny dog shit Remember when you laughed at my last name, now I go by Met, is that less lame of a last name? Well, dude, I'm j you know what? I think I'm just looking too deep into a song that just doesn't sound all that good, and is just an absolute, like, cringe fest. Make a joke, but it feels strange. Every time she laughed, it it's would a feel fake. fake. But you can make her laugh on a school day. I feel like I've heard like five different songs in this song, but like I can't identify them. It's like like the first artist I think of is The Weeknd, but I know it's not that. I don't know. It's like it's just like plagiarism city here though. Like I hear something with the, with the with the bass and oh god, I'm you know what? Whatever. Just whatever. I'm not gonna ever listen to this album on my free time. Let's just keep chugging through and get a, getting over with this shit. You know what? Someone in the comments is gonna be like, Oh my god, Bradley, that's the point. He says, I don't ever think of you so many times in the song because he does think of him. But what the... Yeah, but why do I need to hear a song about the fact that he's sad about his school bully? Like, I honestly don't give a fuck. Like, I, I honestly could not give less of a fuck. You know what I mean? There's, like, no fucks left to give about, like, melodramatic shit. The fact that I could say that this is, like, somehow more melodramatic than the song by the Killers that was, like, Andy, you're a star, you know, to the school bully. It's, like, this, this is, some, this is, like, a pathetic approach as to where that was, like, pure petty, you know? This is just pathetic and sad. And, and not even in, like... 
Like, I get it's trying to be that, but it's not even in like that way. It's more like, wow, you, you really went through with this and went all the way with such a horrible concept. No way. No way. Okay, so I read the rest of these lyrics. Uh, I'm not even, like, I'm just gonna put them up on the screen. Maybe uh, I've got friends all up the coast, proud of all the songs I wrote. But I can't take this backpack off. It comes with me where I go. God, I can't stop thinking of this bully. But I, but maybe I'll just put out this song. And maybe I won't change your name at all. But maybe you'll call me up and fix my problem for me. Dog This is horrible. Dog shit. Like, dog shit the sequel. Dog shit 2, like, with featuring, like, like, starring Matt Damon. You know, as, like, the dog shit man. You know what I mean? That's, that's what this song was. It was, like, the ultimate sugary dog shit. Like, it actually got to points where I was just, like, I, I, nothing was literally, like, hitting my eardrums anymore. It was, like, just deflecting off. Alright, this is the last song on part one. Uh, and then, yeah, so, uh, let's go! Adventurers out there! I keep losing my socks. Profound. But that does not mean shit to me, so shut the fuck up. Uh, I honestly don't think I could give less of a shit about these lyrics. Like... I, I don't gotta explain why. I mean, you see them. Like, like for the love of God, like, why would I ever... I can, I got nothing to wear. I can grab a new pair. This is like music for people who do nothing all day and want to justify it by having people, like, make them feel okay with being, like, completely, you know, like, like vegetables. Like, I feel like this is, this is music that you would only listen to if you had, like, no tolerance for music. This is, like, the simpiest, most boring shit on the entire planet. I am borderline ready to skip this shit. Um, hey, I mean, still AJR, it's, it's, it's an improvement from their last two albums, but it's still AJR. You know what I mean? Wow. The ultimate conclusion of a song about him losing his socks and about them probably being at a, a girl's place, which, you know, of course, he was taking off his socks because he's a kinky motherfucker, but he doesn't like sex because sex is not cool. So he just took off the socks and I was like, what's up, baby? Give me a motherfucking feet mas <laughs> foot massage. That's probably why it means so much to him, you know. Uh, those were those were the socks when when his uh, when his ex was rubbing his feet, but not his meat because sex is overrated. Wow, it's picking up again. Wow, it's not formulaic at all. Oh, I'm ending that one early. Red headphones. <laughs> Yikes. I mean. Yikes! That was like... Wow. That I mean, talk about a do-nothing day. That song was a do-nothing song. It, it didn't sound interesting in the slightest, especially if you compare it to any other tracks they did. You remember when I was like, oh, it sounds like they really put a million years of effort into it. It's like here, it's like, yeah, there's a lot of detail, but it's like the... You know what? I don't really know how to describe this to you guys, but it's like my, my attention span is so limited and this album has already lost it. Let's just listen to Bang so that nobody watches the second part. I'm just kidding, you guys. You're gonna have to wait to see my profound re-reaction to the incredible master. Okay, let's just do it here. Uh, next song, track seven, Bang. You guys hear that? What? That's how you know it's alternative. Gang, gang, gang. Beat. So I got an apartment across from the park. You guys see that bass? Gang, gang, gang. So loud, motherfucker. 
Headphones, dog shit, dog. dog shit, dog shit, dog shit, and that's the end of part one. Who would have guessed that this was a very biased review? That's right. Surprise! It's biased because like I I came in no expectations, and it's like they literally I would have rather had them like taking risks than just like watering it down to this man. Everybody is like hating on our old shit. So let's, let's just give them what they want. But like, not really, but like, yes, really. But like, it's, it's like new, but it's not actually new. And it, and it sounds like a lot of other shit, but it's trying to be unique. I'm not really a big fan of it. But that being said, yeah, it's better than the last albums. I, I just don't know. I just don't care. It's AJR. I just don't care. You know, I had fun clowning on him, but uh, I'm going to go do something else after I edit this and put it out. So, uh, ah, whatever. Peace out. See ya.